So in the last video, we created the player, but they don't have a vehicle yet. In this video, we won't be creating the vehicle just yet. Instead, we'll go over conceptually how the kit has been designed to provide as much flexibility for you in creating your game as possible. You can skip over this if you've already read the manual, and go straight into the next video where we'll create a new ship that can fly around in the scene. So, the three principal elements that make up a vehicle are the vehicle component, the subsystems components, and the module components. Modules are designed to implement functionality, and in this kit include weapons, health generators, power plants, and more, and are designed to be swapped into or out of the vehicle either as you're creating the vehicle as the developer or during gameplay as a player. Subsystems can also implement functionality but everything that a subsystem does can potentially be transferred to a module. So a subsystem is mainly a way of storing references to specific types of modules and accessing them individually or as a group. But the other thing that subsystems provide is the ability to affect a vehicle at the level of specific types of functions. For example, with power distribution or targeting specific subsystems on an enemy ship to fulfill mission objectives. Subsystems in this kit include engines, weapons, radar, and health. The vehicle component basically stores references to subsystems, so control scripts can then easily access subsystems and even modules via the vehicle component. There are two more components that I'd like to cover in this video. The first of these is the module mount component. This component provides a way to mount modules of specific types at specific points on the vehicle. Every module that is part of a vehicle must be loaded via a module mount. I'll show you how to do this with the weapons a bit later on. Lastly, we have the health fixture component. What this component represents is basically a collider on the ship that can be attached to a health generator module. When the health fixture registers a hit on its collider, it passes the event to any health generator that has been connected to it. Every damageable part of your ship must be represented by a health fixture. I'll go into much more detail on this when we set up the health for our vehicle. So with that, I hope I've given you a basic idea of how things work and how to add new functionality to your game in a way that's not just easy to do, but fits really nicely with everything else.